Chris, commiserations. It wasn't to be here in Newcastle. However, how would you sum that up and that first walk on? I don't think I've ever seen you taken back like that. Yeah, it was somewhat special, obviously. It, mean, it means a lot to us, obviously. Obviously, being a big Newcastle fan and having them come and do that with the flags for me, it, it was uh, pretty breathtaking, I could say. But uh, it took a few legs in the first game to, to settle myself because it did mean that much to us. Was there extra pressure on you? Because of the, all the walk on that went with it and the VT beforehand, we saw you like looking up at it and all that. Did you feel that pressure? Hundred percent. I can't lie. Um, I've, I'm I'm a one that's normally as, as calm as anything, and tonight I felt it. I felt something different, and I think you can see my performances. I, I, I wasn't settled in any of the games, but um, yeah, I loved every minute of it. The week you've had as well, it's been quite traumatic, obviously from last week, losing your luggage, playing with other people's darts on the Pro Tour, and then getting back late yesterday. Has that all had an effect as well? Not the ideal preparation heading here? Yeah, well, I only had one one day with me on darts and unknown clothes, so yeah, it, it, it did play a part, but obviously I know I was going to be in that position, obviously with the travelling and stuff, so it's up to me to, to make that work, and obviously I think the, the moment got the better of us tonight, and on to next week. Chris, thanks, man. Cheers. Chris, you looked composed up there tonight, but how nervous were you going there for the first game? Yeah, I was very nervous. Obviously, to have my little boy there meant meant so much more than more than anything tonight, because uh, it doesn't doesn't go much. But yeah, it's, it was a big thing for me tonight, and I'm just happy I got that that win for for the fans, not just for myself. We're at the halfway stage of this Premier League league phase now. How would you assess how it's gone so far? Um, I've played well up until tonight. I think uh, my performances have have been pretty solid all competition bar one. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with my my games. I turn 100%. I'll be better next week. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Chris, are you still pinching yourself? You're here. I mean, the fact is you've done so well this year, and tonight you've had such an amazing homecoming. But you still feel like there's more to come from you. Surely not. Yeah, without a doubt. I feel obviously I won that first week. I think I can go better, I can play better and yeah, results will show eventually. Um I'm I'm happy with the way I'm playing. Obviously tonight was obviously a lot more than, than just darts for me tonight, so I think that got the better us and yeah, I'll move on to next week I'll I'll hundred percent put that right. Thank you very much. Cheers. Chris, obviously you mentioned the flags, walking out to local hero, which is a bit of a change for your walkout song. What did that mean as well? Yeah, it means means a lot obviously big Newcastle fan and to hear that tonight for myself and obviously not not just for the crowd out there it was for, it was for me and just to live that moment on the stage with the flag as well it was it just meant the world you produced a great comeback in your first game did that give you the confidence in the second that you could have came back against Gerwin there yeah I felt I felt I was going to come back once I once I started taking these legs I know the crowd obviously were against them but uh, I thought if I can pinch another leg the decider, you know, who knows? But uh, it wasn't to be. I knew, I knew at the last, when it when he hit the double sixteen, I knew a double twelve was one of his favourites. Obviously, he, he stood back thinking, what have I actually got left? But I knew exactly what he had left, and I shouldn't have looked because <laughs> I, I knew it was one of his favourites. I, I didn't expect another dart. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, mate. When you were starting to pull back in that uh, last game against Gerwin, I mean, what was the noise like just from your perspective on the stage? Because we could hear it in here and it was just absolutely deafening. Yeah, they were they were brilliant up there tonight. Um, that gave me that motivation to, to keep going. I, I think I was, I was gone like a five, two or five, three down. They, they were the ones that believed in me and, and, and got me through that game. Uh, I think, like I said, if I could have pinched that leg, I think it could have been a whole different story. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. After the first walk on, Chris, when the music stopped, you looked like it took a moment to take it all in. Was that something that you planned to do before on? Or was it just no. a enormity of the moment? No, nah, I just I didn't expect it to, to be like that. I knew it was gonna be a big thing, but I did have to have to take a moment. I, obviously just to get my head around it, it was it was just for me that, you know, and normally I go to St James's Park and it's it's for, for everybody in the in the ground, the players, the fans and Tonight it was for me, and, and that meant a lot to me tonight. And I was just glad to to get that first win on my belt. And like I said, nerves maybe got the better of me tonight, but hopefully put that right for next week. What, what's the form being like today? Messages all day. I can I can well imagine. I have. I, she I, was I, name popped I, up. I had to turn my phone off pretty early today, obviously to focus. <laughs> I come into the practice room, 
put my headphones in, music on, just to just to focus. Didn't interact with any other players for a good hour or so. So I tried to keep myself the best I could. And like I said tonight, I think the occasion got the better. And, and just finally, you mentioned your little boy. How, how old is he, and does he not normally get to watch you? Is this is this a first? Yeah, um, he, he's five. He's, he'll be six in June, and obviously the the noise and stuff. Uh, he doesn't doesn't quite like the noise, but yeah, to, he, he comes to the worlds now and again, and because that's a big thing for me. And just to have him here tonight, obviously with it being a homecoming, it, it meant a lot. It meant extra. It was extra special.